everyone. Welcome to Long Arm Wednesday. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop and we're very happy to see you here today. Today we're working on a painted quilt top. This was designed by a local artist. Her name is Tandy and I love it. It's got blue and green and then she did this big beautiful heart and names that are supporting this 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 for gift, uh, supporting this lady all the way around. Um, she's you know had her uh, last little um, treatment for cancer. So uh, this is the beautiful gift that uh, Tandy has made for this lovely lady. So we're gonna quilt it up. So we talked about ideas and how to fill it up. We didn't want anything too dense on the outside. We really wanted it really comfy and cuddly. And we picked a nice, beautiful, pink flannel for the back and of course it picks up all the pink from the front you can even tell how it's sitting right there it's quite lovely so what I what I was asked to do is just pretty much highlight it get it quilted down and highlight it so what I'm going to do I, I chose uh, pistachio thread because I thought the pistachio matched with the blue and the green and then even in around here around the flowers it wasn't going to take away from anything I did had linen out and I had white out and I had celery out and you know pistachio was the the one kind of calling it so uh, I did kind of circle around everybody's name and do a little heart where there's a little red dot in between you know and there's lots of people who have helped um, support so on this on this uh, quilt top so isn't it lovely it, it's been washed many times and it'll get softer as it goes but it's so it's so nice to need to look at something that was painted you know and then work on it that way you know what I mean it's, it's been beautiful so I'm just going to kind of fill in around some of these flowers so you can see this uh, beautiful work of art so I'm just going to echo I'm just going to kind of come in and maybe echo and then just work my way around everybody so it gets a little stitched down around I don't want to take away from her beautiful design I just want to accent it I just want to make it a little bit prettier you know what I mean not that it could really get any prettier uh, 12 stitches per inch uh, pistachio thread and it's off the control belts okay and just follow you know if you need to take your time take your time like I just want to make this as pretty as it possibly can be So it's out of the way. And there'll be a beautiful stitch out on the back side to have all the flowers highlighted or at least the shapes around them. I put on a new needle. It wasn't anything different than I would normally use. And we just end up going from one little visual pretty, like little flowers or the leaves or the dragonflies. Okay. And if you're interested in Tandy's work, there will be a link below to link uh, a web page where she can be contacted. And on the blue part up above, I just kind of made my own little cloud and did like a little, some loops in between. You'll be able to see pictures at the, at the end if Pop remembers to put them in. If not, they'll be on our webpage. You 
could switch thread colors if you wanted to, if you really want to make this like, um, you know, if it was a black and white and you wanted to make a color, you could certainly do it with thread. I don't want to take away from this beautiful piece of art. I just want to add to it. Just want to make it as pretty and as loving and filled as much as possible. And hopefully she feels all the love from everybody that's listed on it and then some. forgot a flower you could always come back and and you know go up to it. I don't want to go too far because I think I'm actually might bump my uh, my bar if I do that so I'll put some locking stitches in here and I can start back at the top again work my way around okay we'll get rid of this one but isn't this beautiful I think I held it up but I'll hold it up again no actually I didn't hold it up there we go so you can actually get really good really really actually I think I did but nonetheless it doesn't matter um really good look at it isn't it beautiful oh love it and there's making all those little flowers and the little leaves all pop up by um by highlighting them right myself in it sometimes just having so much fun just enjoying all the visual prettiness and knowing this is paint you know what I mean that's just it's just baffling I love it it made me think of you know like a family reunion gift where or uh, you know where everybody's there and they put their little handprint on it and you can always you know, from year to year, change it up. You know, I think that's really neat. Okay, we'll go over here. And in no time at all, you've got it all filled up the way you want it. This would be easy to do on your domestic, same thing, free motion foot. Put your safety pins or your normal regular pins and some pin fours, I think they're called, pin oars. Oop, broke thread. It's okay. Um, and, uh, and and go from there. So we'll okay, put that there. Do, do, do. And I'll take some pictures so you can see it at the end. Actually, I'll show you the thread color. 
I had another one ready to go here so you can see what pistachio looks like on this quilt. Is that pretty? It's quite a lovely little color. You know. All right, and it looked nice on the on the pink on the back. It does. You can tell already just by uh, by looking right there. So, and I'll just continue this up. So that'll keep me out of trouble for at least majority of the day. I don't know what's keeping you guys out of trouble. <laughs> All right, thanks everybody for watching, liking, and subscribing. Check us out on our uh, weekend projects and our live streams on Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we're always working on something. Uh, so far, we're working on our 12th scrappy adventure since uh, late last year. So very very excited. All right, take care everybody. Have a fantastic day and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.